Run with the warm up. Take her right arm. Taking a walk around the pole. And then we're going to stop on the side and face the pole. We're going to roll out some body rolls. So hands low. Roll it out. Chest, abs, hips. Chest, abs, hips. And we're going to shove that pole on the floor. So start to get the arms into it. Again, chest, abs, hips. One more time. Let's peel the legs out wide right here. And we're going to dip side to side. So up on the toes, take a little squat and scoop. Squat and scoop. Pivot the knees and toes. Bring it back up top. Right arm, take a walk. We're going to stop on the side facing this front. Take those circles here. And then take that outside leg and half circle it. So everything away from your pole, remember, is outside body parts. Everything close to the poles and inside body parts. So add the arm with it, push it back, push it back. So nice and strong, imagine that air is super thick. You have to push through it. So warm in the chest and the shoulder as well. Last one, grab that knee. You're gonna roll it back, open the chest and hip, loosen the joints. One more time here, then roll it forward. Up and over. Up and over, two more. Last one, take a walk, hand nice and high. So we're gonna stop on the back of the pole this time. Little twist, one foot's gonna step right over top of the other. Let's peel those legs out wide here. Up on the toes, down and up, just warming the ankles. And then hold it at the top, circle the ankles around. And go the other way. Stay up on those toes, moving those hips side to side. So cinch that waist, abs nice and tight, and then take the hips forward and back. Tuck and tilt, tuck and tilt, side to side again. Forward and back, tuck and tilt. And now circle those hips here, big circle. Draw an imaginary circle on the floor with those hips, sinking into it a little bit. Go the other way. And then back to the center. Go ahead and drop those heels, move that rib cage side to side, side to side. So lower body is nice and quiet, just moving the upper body. Take that chest, pop it forward. Pop, pop, again. Side to side, four, three, two, forward and back. Push, three, two, put it together. Big chest roll, pop and round, pop and round. So really lift in that rib cage, up and over, up and over. So feel that waist kick in, go in the other direction. One way always seems to move better than the other. No worries, bring it back to the center. Let's walk left arm, taking a walk around. We're gonna stop on the side, circle those hips right here. That outside leg, let's half circle it. All the weights in that lean leg. Outside legs carving through the floor, adding the arm, pushing back. So chest and shoulder, again, pushing through that thick air push. Last one. Grab that knee, roll it back. Open the chest and hip. Again, loosening those joints. Last one, roll it forward. Think up and over, up and over. Last one here, take a walk, hand nice and high. Let's stop on the side again for some body rolls. Rolling it out, chest, abs, hips. Shoving the pole to the floor. There you go. Peel it out wide right here, one and two. Back to some circles, hip and chest, and sink down into that. Come back up top, sink again, bring it back up top. Let's go the other way, down, down, up, up, one more, and we're going to take those dips side to side. Squat and scoop, squat and scoop, knees and toes turning. Last one, coming up top, left arm, take a walk. We're going to stop on the side, turn under that arm for that pirouette, peel those legs out wide here, tuck those hips under, pushing your lower back into the pole, take it down for those plies. So knees over those toes, I'm going to turn to the front so you can see, I'm pushing my back into the pole, abs nice and strong, push it to that floor. Last one, stay here, hold up top, drop in the right knee. Turn it over, all fours here. Big vertical circle, push that floor away. So imagine you're inside of a tube and you need to touch all the way around. Push that floor away, taking a cat stretch at the top. We're gonna take it in the other direction, drop it down and around, down and around, again. 
again. One more time, hold it up top. Let him find that plank position, that push up position, pushing the floor away. Shoulders right over those hands. Bringing those knees in, crunch. Now, if you have socks on like I do, I want you to slide and glide. So you're going to get a little more of a workout here. Crunch, crunch. Again, one more. Slow lower, slow lower, slow lower, slow lower. All the way. Uncurl those toes. Lift the head and chest. Drop it down. You're going to float that butt back. So use those forearms to push into that floor. Bring it forward. Heavy, heavy head and chest. Lift it up. Drop it back down. Float that butt back. Heavy, heavy head and chest. All the way back. Sit back for some circles here. And reverse it. Bring it back to the center. Hands to the floor. Pop it up wide. Knees and toes are going to turn out. You're going to glide it side to side. Side to side. So you're just gliding over. Knees over toes. And then let's bring it back to the center. Walk those feet in a little bit. Round and roll. As you come up, take that body. Roll down. Roll it right back up. Take it down again. Roll it all the way. Big inhale here. Up. Exhale. And again. And exhale down. Let's walk left arm. Take it a walk. Stop it on the back and pull. Peel those legs out wide. Circle those hips again. Sink into it. Coming back up. Going down. Back up top. Go the other way. Two circles. Down and up. Bring it up top. Dip again side to side. Side to side. Pivot those knees and toes. Bring it back up top. Let's go right arm. Taking a walk. We're going to stop again for that pirouette. Turn under. Back side on the pole. Peel those legs out wide. Tuck those hips under. Take that plie squat down. Take it down and up. Down and up. Again. Abs are tight. You're pushing your lower back into the pole. Hold it down right here. Both hands up top. Drop in one knee, then the other. All fours again. Big vertical circle. Push that floor away. One more time. We're going the other direction. Push it away. Push it away. Last one. Hold it at the top. Round in that cat. Drop in that cow. Lift in the head. Arch in the back. Round and curl. Drop and lift. Good. Take those legs back out. You're coming into that push-up position again. Push that floor away. Everything strong. Slow lower. Elbows in. Big push. You can do it. Do it again. Slow lower. Big push. Do we have one more in us? Sure we do. Slow lower. Big push. Hold. Here we go again. Crunch. So you're pulling the knees into the chest. If you have those socks on, glide your foot on the floor. You're going to really feel the difference there. Pull it in. Pull it in. One more each way. Slow lower. All the way. Hover, 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 hover. All the way to the floor. Hold that foot back. Lift that head. Drop it down. Float that butt back. Slow. Use those forearms to help push. Let's do it again. Bring it forward. Heavy, heavy head and chest. Lift it up. Drop it back. Float that butt. All the way back. Sit here in circle. Let's go in the other direction. Good. Hands coming to the floor. Pop it up nice and wide. Knees and toes turn out. Glide it side to side. Side to side. Again. One more each way. Bring it back to the center. Walk those feet in a little bit. Bend those knees round and roll. Drop it down. Round and roll. Do it again. All the way up. Big inhale here. Up. Exhale. Again, up. Exhale. All right, let's come to the pole for a stretch. So we're going to stand on one side, palms on the back. Feet close to face. Let those hips fall out to the side. Feel that stretch. Go ahead and pull it back in. Drop it back out. Pull it back in. Let's face that pole for the back stretch. Round that back, tucking those hips up under. Pull those shoulder blades apart. And then roll it all the way up top. Cross to the other side. 
palms on the back, feet close, let those hips fall out, pull it in, drop it back out, pull it in. Let's take that back stretch again, hands low, round that back, really tuck everything under, roll it back up, big shoulder rolls, and forward, the last one, take your back side on the pole, both hands up top, thumbs down. Keep your butt on the pole, but let your chest push forward. So push that sternum forward, and then bring it back in. Regrip low, thumbs down. Let your body lean away this time, rolling the shoulders back and down. Swivel those hips a little bit to keep some movement. And really pull the shoulders down, feel that stretch down the neck and shoulders. Bring it back in. Big inhale, up. Exhale, we're ready to get. All right, so getting into a little bit of strength. We're going to come to the side of your pole. Let's stay on our left foot. So all your weight's going to stay in that left foot. The right foot, you're going to give a little heel to the pole, and you're bending and letting your weight sink into that left foot. Then I'm going to pop that right foot off, drop behind for a little curtsy. So letting that knee drop to the floor, doesn't have to go all the way, and then heel tap. So, a little dip and curtsy, heel tap. Dip and curtsy, heel tap. Very light grip on the pole. All my weight is in that left leg. You should feel it already. Yes. We're going to see this move again in the routine today. So, let's use it as a workout here. Last time, pole. All right. So, from here, we're going to take our right hand up high, that right leg is hooked, it's going to come off, turn into your pirouette, so we turn under. Let's take those legs nice and wide here, take in that plie squat again, take it up and down. So you're pushing your back into the pole, abs nice and tight, knees are right over those ankles. Last one, bring it back up top, pushing off that pole. Let's switch sides. So we're going to stand on the right foot this time. The left leg is going to hook. Make sure your toes, knees, hips are square with the pole. So you don't want your joints tweaked out one way or the other. You want everything square. So the left leg hooks. Sink into that right foot and push. Give that little curtsy dip. I give the dip. Push it into the floor. Sink into it. So again, all the weight now is in that right leg. Tap, curtsy, I'm dropping that left knee, keeping the weight all in the right and watching that knee. So you should feel it. I do. Again, so you're dipping and you're squatting even when you do the hook on the pull. So it's a squat and a dip. Let's go one more. Last one, heel hook, left leg's hook, so the left arm's going to go up. I'm going to turn under for that pirouette. Let's take some plie squats here. Tuck the hips. Abs are in. Take it down. So knees right over those ankles again. No space between your back and the pole. Feel on those legs. Last one. Bring it up. All right. Coming back to your pole. On the back side of the pole, you're going to take your right hand high. There's a couple parts in this routine where we're going to use a push grip. I'm going to turn this down a second. So we're going to use a push grip. And the lead hand is going to be high. So the right arm is high. You're shoving the pole on the floor, which means you're pulling that shoulder back and down. The bottom arm is going to be the push. So we're going to actually take that forearm and rest it right on the back side of the pole. So that the elbow is more on the inside and the hand is just going to wrap gently because you want to push that pole away there. So if I turn to the side, you can see I'm shoving the pole on the floor here by pulling that shoulder back and down. The opposite arm, that forearm rests, wrap that hand gentle, and I'm pushing that pole away. And that push is coming from the shoulder and the back here. So I'm pulling the shoulder down, and I'm pushing. So I'm pushing my forearm in. So that push and pull counters each other, and that's going to allow you to 
lighten the weight in your toes. So I'm going to turn here so you can see. So I'm going to shove the pole on the floor, push the pole away, and as I do, I want to try to keep my body square with the pole. So I'm not going to twist or turn. The equal push pull is happening between the top arm and the bottom arm. And when I do that, I'm going to come up on the toes. I tighten every muscle to my little itty bitty toe so that I can maybe float right off the floor. So maybe you're not quite there yet. You just want to lift one at a time so that you're not having too much movement. Because that movement, if you're rotating or turning, is going to possibly hurt your shoulder. So you want to be very cautious of that, that everything is strong and tight. And we're not just flinging our legs up in the air and flying around and twisting and turning this way. It's a very controlled push, pull, lift, and float. Okay? It's like you're levitating off the ground. So um, if, if I come up to the pole up front here, you can see the grip a little better maybe. So I'm going to top arm shove the pole on the floor, the bottom hand. Again, I'm going to pull that elbow right across the center line so that I can push that uh, forearm into the pole. So it's a gentle wrap here. So I'm here shoving, pushing, pulling, and that creates that big push that allows me to float and lift off the floor. Okay. So again, I'll show you in this angle, this arm. So the forearm pulls in. It's just pushing that pole away. Grip is gentle, and I'm shoving the pole on the floor. Okay. All right, so let's go back to that right arm. Right arm up high, left arm's coming into that forearm press, push. Everything tight to your toes. We're gonna focus on lifting that left leg. So you're gonna feel the side waist and that left hip, as well, of course, as the back and shoulder. Push. Everything stays light, 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 and I'm gonna lift that left leg up and down. So I'm pushing, pulling crunching that left waist as I lift. Maybe I get a little light on the right toe. Maybe I can even float off the floor. But again, if when you try to do that, you're twisting and rotating, you're putting yourself at risk for your shoulder and joint injury. So stay nice and strong, push, lift that left leg. That's all I want you to do. You're focusing on crunching here. Left, push, okay? Give that side a break. Let's go to the other side. Left arm, nice and high. Right arm, forearm, pushes. Gentle grip. So again, that pushes from the back and the shoulder. I'm shoving the pole on the floor. Now I'm gonna see if I can float maybe off the floor that little bit. If not, you're just becoming light, light, light in your toes. Let's lift that right leg. So it's very strong and controlled. Again, right waist, right hip, butt cheek you should feel. Shove and push. And again, lifting the right leg, feeling it, everything strong down to your itty bitty toe. It's a tiny movement. No jumping, no leaping, no none of that. Control. Maybe you're getting the other foot off the floor. Okay, shake it out. So we're gonna see that in the routine, that grip and maybe a leg lift. So here are your options with that. As you're progressing through the class, maybe you should repeat this, this class video. So let's get back to the right arm, giving that side a break. The option will be on the back side of the pole. We're going to use that forearm press and push. The left leg, because the left arm's the down arm, would be the one that we're going to lift. So here's the option one. Maybe we can just get one leg up at a time. Maybe we can progress to get both. But you want that to be so controlled that you're just gentle, no movement at all, lifting. Okay? So that would be your goal to get to. If you can get there now, fantastic. Okay? Let's switch sides. Look at that progression again over here. So I'm shoving the pole on the floor, forearm press. One side might be stronger than the other. So maybe you're just going to choose the one lift and then the other. No movement, no rotating. Maybe you're feeling good and strong on this side, and it can all come up together as one unit. So again, one at a time, or you're choosing both. Control. Okay? All right, shake that out. So let's move into um, 
another drill that I like to incorporate in all the classes um, for the abs, and that's our hook. So you're going to take your right leg, hook it on the front of the pole, pull my slacks down here. So knee in line with the hip, open that standing leg up, driving that foot into the floor, cinch that waist, reach it out to the side, you're pushing that top hip forward, you should be very flat here, not sitting back, okay? Push that hip forward, squeeze the heel to the butt, reach and lengthen, pull it in, elbow to butt to strengthen. So you're lengthening, and then you're strengthening. Adding those options, arms out, then pull in, or you're carrying that big heavy ball with you all the way. Maybe you just want to do one. Maybe you want to carry half a heavy ball, okay? Whatever is working for you today, choose your pace. Last one. Let's switch sides. So we're coming to this side. Heel tight to the butt. Standing leg's going to open up. Drive that hip forward. Flatten it out here. Again, don't sit back. Push it forward. Reach and lengthen. Pull it up to straight. Again, reach. So it's very controlled. Slow it down a little bit. Uh huh. Add those arms if and when you're ready. Reach it. Pull it. Carry that heavy ball, maybe. Or again, maybe you just want to go halfway. Carry half a ball. Last one. Up. All right. We got those in. So let's go with our climb. Using a basic climb today, uh, so we're going to take our right hand up high. When you climb, you could use that forearm press as well to help bring it up, but you're going to bring your right leg in that high march position. And I have my uh, socks on, so that also, if you have socks on, that's going to prevent you from gripping with the top of the foot, which is good because you want the grip to be more in the inner thighs rather than pushing um, with the feet. So gentle on the feet, so socks can be a benefit to that. But you're gonna shove the pole on the floor, step up to that pole stand. If you can take it up to that next level, you're reaching up high, crunch, push. I'm gonna come back down to them in the screen. However high you have at home, take it there. If your ceilings are low, then take that climb, but slide back down, but don't step off. So you would reset here, push. Slide it back down, reset, push, okay? So if you have short ceilings, there's your option. All right, so squeeze those inner thighs tight, tight, tight. Just work the squeeze, hollow everything out, maybe a little shimmy. You're working the waist here and the inner thighs. So a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Right hand on top, shove a pole on the floor. Let's fold those legs back. Keep the shoulders pulled down. See if you can open the legs. Yes. Bring it down. So shoulders always back and down. Drive those shoulders down, elbows towards the floor. Big earrings on, you're trying to show them off. So you're not here, you're here. All right? Let's go to the left side. Left hand up top. High march, shove the pole to the floor. Bring that leg up, maybe again. And again, I'm going to come back down so I'm in the picture here. Squeeze. So again, climb as many times as you want. Get that in there. Maybe you come up, maybe you slide down, don't touch the floor, go right back up, okay? Hollow it out. So you cinch that corset tight, a little rib cage pop, work in the waist, work in the inner thighs. And then we're coming down, left hand on top. Shove the pole on the floor, turn the side so you can see. Shove the pole on the floor, fold those legs back. Here's your option one. Option two is to get those legs off. Shoulders are down, I can see your beautiful earrings. Come down. Big inhale. Exhale. So I said you could use that forearm press climb, so let's talk about that a second. Um, if you use that forearm press, you're still shoving the pole on the floor, you're pushing the pole away here, and that's going to allow you to be able to hike those knees up. So I shove the pole on the floor, pull the knees up, one leg on the front, one leg on the back, and really squinched, and then I push up. Taking that up another level. Forearm comes in. Push, pull, hike the knees up, push. Okay. So that gives you the benefit with that is that you can keep your legs in that same position. So if you're like 
knee and your right side and you climb that right leg, that kind of lets you always choose to put your legs where you want to put them. All right, keeping all that in mind. We're going to use a V sit today in our pose. So our climb, pose, descent. Let's go over that now. So our climb, we just did. The pose is going to be the V sit um, with both hands on top. So if we come to the pole, you're going to take your right hand on top, that narrow grip of that shoulder height, you're shoving the pole on the floor. No jumping, but you shove the pole on the floor, pull those shoulders back and down. We're hiking the knees up, and we're going to tip that right hip up. So I shove the pole on the floor, hike the knees up, tip the right hip up. So I'm squeezing the inner thighs tight, tight, tight here. I'm going to extend the legs so I tighten those quads. Right hip is up. Hands are about shoulder height, and I'm going to lay out to the side. So I'm horizontal. That bottom leg, that left leg, I'm going to rotate that hip. So I want the knee and toe to face out. Okay, so now the pole is on the back side of my thigh, not my inner thigh. So I'm trying to get my shoulder and leg in line here, so that's how horizontal I'm getting. That leg, if I tighten that quad and keep it tight, that's going to push into the pole. My weight hanging off is catching in the hands. So that top leg, that right leg, I'm going to pull that knee back towards my outside of my hip, shoulder, and then I can kick that leg out. So I'm in that V-sit, I'm horizontal, then I can bring that leg back, keep that right hip up till I can reset and come down, okay? So our descend is going to be that narrow grip, shoving the pole on the floor, shoulders back and down. You can come down pencil, one leg folded, whatever, it depends on how close you are to the floor. Um, but just focusing on that narrow grip as you come down. So let me show you that positioning again. Um, I want to tip so that the pole is not on the inner thigh, but it's on the back of the leg, the back of the thigh there. So I have to take that leg and rotate it out so that the pole's on the back side. So I'm gonna show you here, um, see if I can get an angle for you. Probably not the prettiest screenshot, but I'll try it here. So we're gonna rotate that hip out, knee and toe face out, hands are gonna come a little bit lower so that I can get horizontal. I'm trying to get my shoulder and my knee and leg in line. Tighten that quad and push. That creates that back of the thigh touching the pole. Knee comes up, out. All right, so there's my sit. It's not down the center. It's on the back side of the thigh. Bring that leg back in, and I can bring it back up to come down. Okay? Most people, when they... Uh, tip horizontal, they're good, and then when they try to bring that leg back over, or out I guess, when they try to bring that leg out, they're horizontal, and they try to bring that leg out here, and when they do, they let the weight of that leg bring them back to vertical. That's when the pole slides down your center, not so good. So tip into the side, stay with that sideways tip and that back of the thigh pushing into the pole here. That stays constant all the time. This is the leg that's changing, okay? So it's doing this, but this is not changing. So when you take that leg out, don't let it tip you back up. The pole's gonna go down the center and you're gonna slide down. Let's look at it on the other side, thinking about all those points. So, left hand on top, the left hip's gonna go up. So I'm gonna shove the pole on the floor, lift up, left hip up top, okay? I tip it over, right, leg or that bottom leg is going to rotate out. So the and toe are out. I'm going to tip myself horizontal so that hopefully my shoulder and leg are closer in line. That allows the pole to get on the back side of the thigh here. I can tighten that quad to push it. Now I can bring that left knee towards my shoulder and kick it out wide. Okay? Then when I bring it back, same thing. I can bring it in. I can bend it to fold in. But I'm going to stay tipped until I get there. Otherwise, you're going to be sliding down the pole, okay? So practice that. I'm going to go through some progressions as well. Um, because you can take that to one hand, so that you don't need two hands. Options, we climb and get into our sit by using that narrow grip and tipping up.
and then we use that narrow grip right here to come back down. You can um, skip the climb if you want. Maybe you don't have enough room to climb. Maybe you're wanting to stay a little closer to the ground. So you could just start just like I am right now from the floor. Okay? We just still want to practice narrow grip, shoulders back and down. Shove the pole on the floor. Bring it up, nice and controlled. Tip. Okay, so you're climbing it here or you start right from the floor. So I'm going to tip out, rotate that hip, tighten that quad, pull that knee in and out. So I'm in that strap. So if you have that push steady here, that bottom hand can come off. Okay, because my weight hanging off is catching with this hand. It's pushing this thigh into the pole. And then I can come back up and step off. So hopefully with the narrow grip, you're using to bring it back up. On the other side, left hand on top. Again, if I were to climb, uh, let's see, left side. If I climb, I'm going to use that narrow grip, which is about shoulder height, shoving the pole to the floor. I lift those legs. I can hike the knees to my chest or just take them straight out into that pipe. I tip it over, get horizontal, rotate that bottom leg, push it into the pole, top leg, comes out, if that bottom thigh is pushing, 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 then I should be able to let go with that other hand. Yeah, I'm spinning. All right, coming back up, slide it down. I need to wipe my pole. So if you have to wipe your pole, wipe your pole anytime. Always want good grip, that's for sure. So that V sit, climb, narrow grip to V sit. Either two hands, one hand, that's your progression. And then you're using that narrow grip to descend. Okay? You can play with whatever kind of pretty light things you might want to do with that. So let's set that all aside. Let's get into our routine. Um, we're going to start with a swing and knee hook. So the right hand's nice and high. We're going to start with this side. Inside leg's going to open up to face the pole. Important that the knee and toe face the pole. Outside leg out to the side. Body weight's always hanging away. Outside leg draws a big circle around to foot replace this foot. Okay, so that's going to foot replace, and then the inside leg is going to come up the pole in that hook. So it looks like this. You can use two hands, or one, depends on how comfortable you are with it. Outside leg, tip, tip, plant, foot replace, knee comes up. So when I tip, 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 and plant, I want to stay strong in that leg, zip everything up as I come up tall. Try it again, swing a knee hook, tip, tip, plant, knee up, all right? So then I'm gonna swoop down, and as I come up, I'm gonna turn all my body parts in to face the pole. So I rotate, pivot, knee, toe, hip, everything square with the pole now. So when we finish in that swing a knee hook, we tend to be a little more open here. You want to, when you swoop down and come up, you're just pivoting that foot, that knee, that toe, hip, everything into the pole. Important because we're going to be going into our curtsies and you want your joints lined up so that you're not risking injury there. All right? So let's try our swing a knee hook. Outside leg, swing a plant, knee up, swoop it down, turn to face that pole, everything pivots with you. Now into for this curtsy. So we're going to take our leg, you're going to tap it behind you to drop that knee, and then you're bringing it up, heel tap and sit. So I'm going to drop the knee, curtsy, heel tap and sit. All the weight stand in that left foot. I'm very gentle on the pole. Dip, curtsy, tap. Dip, curtsy, tap. So let's just work out a little bit here. We're not going to do so many in the whole routine, but might as well work it out while we're here. Last one, leave that right foot hooked. You're going to slide the right hand up. Opposite hand's going to flip thumbs down, and you're going to kick that right leg off as you turn under the right arm to that pirouette. Then we're going to pivot back. So you're just rewinding what you did. So I step to the left, bring it back around to face the pole. Try the swing and knee hook with me. outside leg, swing and plant, knee up, swoop it down, square everything up, curtsy back, right leg, goes back and up, all the weights in that left leg, again, one more, here we go. 
go. Bring that leg to the pole. Right hand goes up. Turn to that pirouette. Rewind. All right, so we're facing the pole now. Your right hand's still high. The left hand is going to go in that forearm press. So I'm going to gentle push. And what I'm going to do here is shove the pole on the floor, push, and I'll pop those legs wide. Okay? So I'm going to just use that forearm press to pop. Okay? Let's try it again. This time, let's walk into it. So when you walk into your swing and knee hook, as you're walking, you're going to take that inside foot and step, and then swing the outside leg around. Okay? So let's walk into it. When you're ready, inside leg takes that step. Outside leg, swing and plant. Knee up, swoop down, square it all up. Here we go with those curtsy back. Down and tap, curtsy, tap again. One more time. Stay here, right arm goes up. Turn under the right arm, pirouette. Rewind. Here we go, forearm press, pop. All right, so we're gonna make that pop big. Then we're going to slide down that pole, trace it down, trace it down, trace it down. You're going to trace right back up, up that body, slide the hand up, that forearm, press again. Push the pole, shove the pole before, pop those legs back together. So we're a little squatty here, so we're going to twist it to come back up. Uh-huh. And then we're going to take that hand nice and high again, that forearm press. Shove in the pole on the floor. Remember we did earlier. We lifted one, maybe the other. So that would be option one. Or option two, you're taking that full strap. Okay. So you can do two of those, one of them, two. Whatever time's right for you. But remember, you want to be controlled. Okay. No twisting, turning, jumping. You're going to risk injury to your joints. Let's go with that right side, walking into it. Swing and knee hook. Outside leg, swing and plant. Up, swoop it down, square it all up. Right leg, curtsy back, and tap. So you're squatting as you curtsy. Uh-huh. Last one. Hook that right leg, right hand goes up. Turn it under. Bring it back. Forearm press, pop. Take it down. Take it back up. Forearm press, pop it together. Twist it up, up. Up, reset, here we go. Option one, option two. All right, all right. Let's move to the left arm. Swing any hook, so inside leg opens up, outside leg out to the side, body weight hanging away. Outside leg draws that big circle, foot replaces this one, and that inside knee comes up. Let's do it. Tip, tip, plant, knee up. Try it again. Side leg, outside leg, tip, tip, plant, knee up, zip it up. So remember, if you're getting that forward motion, you're not stopping and zipping up. One more time. Tip, tip, plant, knee up, zip it up tall, swoop it down. Now remember, that hip's open here, so when you swoop down, you're turning to face that pole, bringing everything square. Hips, knee, toe, square with the pole. Ready for that curtsy? Take that left leg, tap it back, drop the knee, curtsy. Tap. So it's that curtsy dip, heel hook. You're going to work out here a little bit, so stay with me. Right leg, all the weight should be in it. Very light on the pole. Work in that right leg. Let's do two more. I lost count. Hold it here. Left leg's hooked, left arm goes up, right arm's going to turn. That flip grip. Release that leg as you turn under the left arm, that pirouette. Bring it back. Just rewinding where you came from. Let's try it again. Swing and knee hook, swing and plant. Knee up, swoop it down, square it all up, curtsy back. Dip, heel and dip. So dip, squat, dip, squat. Yes, yeah, stay here. Left arm, left leg. Turn under, pirouette. Rewind. All right, are you ready to move on? So we bring that forearm, that right forearm, press into the pole. Shove the pole on the floor, push the pole away, pop those legs wide. Bam. Okay? Then we trace it down. So we go down, down, down. You're shifting into that left hip. 
trace up that right leg as you come back up. Forearm press, pop it together. Remember, you're kind of squatty here, so now you're going to twist and turn to bring it back up. Hand reset, forearm press, strong. Option one here. Option two, both legs. Okay? So remember, no rotating, keep it strong. Okay? Even if you're just barely letting a toe come off the floor. You're focusing on that strong push and pull, everything tight to the toe. Let's go left side again, walking into it, walking around. Swing a knee hook, outside leg, swing a clamp, knee up, zip it up tall, swoop it down, face that pull, square it up. Heel goes back and it taps. Again, all the way in that right leg. Last one, stay here, left arm up tall, turn for that pirouette. Bring it back, forearm press, pop it wide, yes. Trace it down, shift into that left hip, trace up that right leg, all the way, bring that forearm press back, twist it up, reset those arms, here we go. Option one, you're here, push. Option two, lift strong, all right? All right, get a drink, let's move on. So again, work through your progressions. You don't have to, you know, be rock star with the legs out on your first time. You want to always protect your joints because you want to be able to continue to do class, okay? So don't overwork it. Baby steps. All right, so when we um, are done with our forearm press and our legs, that straddle, we're going to take a walk. So let's go back to our right arm. We're going to walk and we're going to tip into, we're going to use the double attitude spin today. Such a beautiful spin. Um, everybody loves this spin. It does take some momentum to get into it to make it so big and pretty. Think about um, when you get into it, that body weight always hanging away from the pole. So I'm going to take that lead hand, we're going to practice on the right side first, shoving the pole on the floor. That outside leg and arm, or you can always get to one arm, are going to swing and hook. It's just an ankle hook, so you're not getting the knee on the pole. You want the ankle to hook the pole. The leg's going to fall out to the side, so we don't, with this one, want the knee up. You want the knee to drop out, so you're really opening that hip up. So that big swing out hook, imagine that leg's still there. But as you tip into it, that inside leg is going to push off the floor and it's whipping back heel to butt. So stand on the back of your pole and let's talk about that. As I'm getting to that spin, that outside leg's going to hook. Imagine it's there, but step it down a second. The standing leg or that inside foot is going to push off and you're whipping it back heel to butt. So kind of like that jaw pan, fire hydrant kind of thing. You're pushing off and squeezing that heel to the butt. So you should feel your butt, okay, as you whip that leg back, the outside of that hip, and you're gonna feel that side waist that's helping you lift up. So you're giving that big push off, whip back. Do it again, push off, whip back. Again, these just feel good anyway. Last one, all right? So again, as I get into the spin, I'm gonna heel hook, leg stays there, I push off with that inside foot and I'm moving it back heel to butt. Okay? You're really trying to get that leg when you whip. You want it to be horizontal. Okay? So I'm coming down to the floor. Let's talk about what that looks like in motion. So my heel, outside leg, heel hooks. Inside leg, I push off and I whip it back as far as I can. So sometimes we ride a little close. Want to try your goal would be to get it real wide. You're really kicking that leg back and behind you, so you have big distance between you and the pole. Lead arms nice and high. If you're using two hands, fine. Your progression, of course, would be to really get out here. Big, big motion as you get out. But this is how you're going to land on the floor horizontal with the legs, double attitude position. That would be your goal, okay? So when we walk into it, and this is definitely a spin that um, one you want to walk into to get that power and momentum harder to do just by standing. So let's, I'll show you, you can do it with me if you're ready. You 
going to walk around, outside leg, heel hook, whip it back, reach it out. Okay. Beautiful spin, lots of power momentum, usually everybody loves this one. Let's try it again. Right arm, walk it around. When you're ready, outside leg, swing and hook, whip it back. Okay. All right, so let's stay here. Once we land, that lead hand's going to come to the knee. We're going to pull that knee up. Outside arm's going to go right under that shoulder, and we're going to push into the floor. Watch that shoulder so you're not sinking into it. You're pushing down. Remember those big earrings. Push into the floor, lifting the hips, hand on the knee. Circle it out here. And then we're going to sit our butt down. We're going to reach the hands behind us. Pull those knees in. I want you to stay kind of close to the pole here. You're going to pull the knees in. Toes are going to come up. And you're going to double crunch side to side on the pole. So I'm squeezing the legs. Pull the heels to the butt. Crunch in that side waist. Other side. Crunch. 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 Work in the waist. I feel it. Last one. Bring both legs up. You're going to lay back on the floor. So we did the round three routine on the right side. So your right foot is going to rest right on the pole. And I want you to have kind of a 90 degree position with that knee, toe, and hip. So I'm going to push into the floor, hands up the side, and I'm going to just lift my hips off the floor. You're going to feel that butt and that hamstring kick in. And we're going to do some work right here first. So you're going to cross and then tap. So I'm pushing my foot into the pole, dropping the hips and pushing up. That left leg is just crossing over like I'm sitting and then tapping the floor. Do you feel your butt and your hamstring? You should. So you're pushing into the pole, lifting those hips. We're working our hamstring and glute. Yes, yes. Last time, kick that left leg up. So option one, you're going to drop that left leg down as you lower the hips, and we're going to roll to the left. So I roll over, I'm going to snake back, hands by the chest, float that butt back, use those forearms, take it all the way back, I grab that pole, and I'm going to come up with that sexy up, and do it again. Okay? And you can add in if there's another sexy up or spin up or something else you want to do, feel free to add your own spice there. Option two, okay, brings us into a shoulder rollover. So let's uh, go from the spin again on the right side. Walking around, let's go for that spin, outside leg, heel hook, double attitude. Alright, so we get to the floor, grab that knee, push into the floor, come up in circle, and then we drop it down, hands go behind, knees and toes up, double crunch, double crunch, Again, one more each way, lay it back, right foot right on the pole, that 90 degree hands at the side. Here we go, we cross and tap, working that butt, working the glute, two more. Last one, kick that left leg up. So option one, we drop that leg and we roll it over. Option two is a shoulder roll over. The leg that's extended that's the shoulder you're rolling over. So that knee is going to go right there. So I keep that left hand down. The right hand is going to go fingers up top to the floor. So I have hand on the floor, one at my hip, one above my head. The left knee is going to drop right above the left shoulder. So I'm not rolling over my neck. I'm rolling over the shoulder. So I'm going to give a push off of that pole, knee to the shoulder, right there. Once it's there, I drop, let the other leg come back, and I'm ready to crawl back to that pole. And then I look reach, I bring a knee up in between, like I'm doing a half split, grab that pole, lunge around, that slinky sexy up, up top, okay? So I'm going to show you that from this angle so that maybe that is a better view. So again, if I were here with my right foot on the pole, the left leg goes up. The left leg is the up leg, so that's the shoulder I'm rolling over. That same hand is down. Opposite hand is above. 
okay? So I'm going to push off that pole, rolling over the left shoulder. I'll do it slow. I give that little push, toe, knee, drop. And then I'm ready to crawl back, grab that pole, lunge it around, and up, okay? Um, let me do it from, well, let's do the other side. Work through the spin and to that, and then we'll get to see it from the other, other angle as well. So the left arm, let's talk about just the double attitude spin. So again, that outside leg is going to heel hook. The inside leg is going to push off and whip back. So let's stand on the back of the pole and work through that a second. Outside leg again would have heel hooked. Imagine it stays there. Step it down a second. Let's do some push offs. I push off with that left leg, heel to butt. Tap it down, push it off, heel to butt. So again, I'm pushing off that floor. I'm really squeezing that heel towards my butt, working the glute, working the side waist. Again, that's the power for the spin. Okay. One more time. Yes. Okay. So now let's go into the spin. Left hand nice and high, walking around. Outside leg's going to heel hook, whip it back. Let's try it again. If you're comfortable with this spin, or as you progress, remember you want to get one hand away, so you're just doing a one-handed spin. The other progression is to really let your legs float so that nothing is having contact with the pole except that lead arm. So that outside leg that heel hooks is just going to float by the pole. The inside leg is already off the pole anyway. Right? So you can just let that leg float rather than actually the heel hook. So that's your progression. Walking around. When you're ready, outside leg, heel hook, whip it back. All right, beautiful. So hopefully you landed nice and wide here. If you landed a little close, no worries, just bring it back out. So that lead hand is going to come to the back knee, not left knee. Right hand is going to push into the floor. Watch that shoulder again. You're not crunched up here. You're pushing that floor away. Big earrings. Circle those hips here. Circle, circle. And then we're going to drop it down. Reach behind, fingertips away. Pull those knees in and double crunch. Double crunch. Double crunch. Again, working it out here. One more. And now both legs go up, lay back. So we want the left foot, so let's move around through the left side, the left foot's going to go on the pole. And if you got pushed away, you want to scoot back a little bit, because you want that 90 degree knee, toe, and hip. So when you lift those hips up, that's where you should be, about 90 degrees, okay? So we're going to push up, cross, and tap. Again, pushing into the pole, toe tap and cross. Feeling your butt cheek and your glutes, hamstrings, all that good stuff as you push. Again, just working out here. We won't do so many on the routine, but might as well since we're here, right? And let's go. Last one. Kick that right leg up. Option one. Drop the right leg. Roll it over. Okay. That push back. That snake back and we're up for our sexy up. That option two is the rollover, so let's talk about that here. So the left leg is on the pole, right leg is up. So that means that my right leg is up, that's the shoulder I'm rolling over, that hand is gonna be my down hand. The opposite hand, that left hand, is gonna go up top. So I'm rolling over the right shoulder, that means that knee, that foot is going over the right side. I'm not rolling over my neck, over my shoulder, so shoulder rollover. So I'm going to give that little push off the pole, push into the floor, right leg goes over, gentle, and down. All right? And then I'm going to crawl it back, half split, grip the pole, be able to come up with that lunge into that sexy up. Okay? Let me show you again. So again, I'm here. I have my left foot on the pole, right leg is up, so that means I'm going over the right shoulder. That hand is down, left hand is up. Roll over that right shoulder, I give that gentle push off, 
toe, knee, roll it over. Then I crawl it back, half split, grab the pole, lunge around, sexy up through the up. Okay. All right. So, two options there. Either just regular rollover or you shoulder rollover. We sexy up. And then we're going to walk into that V sit or walk into that climb and pose and descend. So remember that was the V sit. So we're going to take a walk, whatever arm we're on, we're on the right side, we can take that climb up. Remember your V sit. You can either do it from the floor or from the climb. You're going to use that narrow grip to pull up. Whatever side we're on, I'll cue you. That hip would be the up hip. I'm going to get horizontal again, turn that hip out. Back the thigh touches the pole, knee, and extend. When I bring it back, stay horizontal. Don't square up. So if I were back here and I squared up, I'm going to get the pole down the center. Then I'm here, I'm going to pull back up, that narrow grip, and I step off. And then we run through the other side. So let's get ready to do it. Wipe your pole, get a drink. Let's run through. Yes, 
walking around, left arm. Ready for that climb and we sit. Take it up when you're ready. Regular climb, forearm press, wherever you are, or from the floor. Narrow grip, up, left hip on top. Tip it over, right hip turns it out. All right, left knee, bring it back. Straddle it, bring it back. Left hand on top, narrow grip, shoulders back and down. Bring it down. Let's do it again. Right arm, take a walk. Swing a knee hook, swing a plant. Knee up, swoop it down, face that pull, square it up, curtsy back, and hook, curtsy back, and hook, again, last one here, hold, right arm goes up, turn it under, bring it back, left arm, forearm press, pop it wide, yes, trace it down, trace it right back up, forearm press, bring it in, twist it up, forearm press, give me those legs, one or two. Right arm, take a walk. Double attitude spin. Heel hook, work it back. Left hand to the floor, right knee. Circle. Drop it back. Hands go behind. Double knees. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Again. Last one. Lay it back. Right foot on the pole. Tap and cross. Tap and cross. Again. Last one. Left leg goes up. Left hand stays down. Right hand over. Shoulder roll over. Crawl it back. Right arm to the pole. Sit up. Right arm. Take a walk. Going into that climb and we sit. Bringing it up. You can stay here if you want. Right hip on top. Tip it out. Left knee. Face is out. Open that hip. Bring that right knee back. Straddle. Bring it back to me. Right hand on top. Narrow grip to bring it down. Left arm. Last time through. Swing a knee hook. Swing and plant. Knee up. Swoop. Square it all up. Tap it back for that curtsy back. Heel tap. Curtsy back. Heel tap. Last one here. Left leg, left arm, turn it under, bring it back. Right arm, forearm press, pow, bring it down. Trace it up, forearm press, bring it together, twist it up. Forearm press, give it to me. Lift, again. Left arm, take a walk. Double attitude spin to the floor. Spin back around here. Right hand on the floor, left hand on the knees. Circle it. Drop it down. Hands go behind. Double knees. Crunch. 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 You want to really twist. Twist. Last one. Lay them back. Legs go up. Left foot on the pole. Tap and cross. Tap and cross. Again. Last one. Kick that right leg up. Right hand stays down. Left hand over top. Shoulder roll over. Yes, bring it back. Left hand on the pole. Just the end. Almost there. Taking a walk. Ready for that left climb? Left knee sit. Climb it up. Or stay here. I'll go here this time. Left hip up top. Open that right hip. Tip it out to the side. Left knee. Bring it back. Straddle. Bring it back. Narrow grip. You're almost there. Bring it down. You did it. Yes, lots of progressions, things to work on. Let's walk right arm, pulling down, stop it on the side, peel those legs out wide, circle, and breathe. And other way. Let's dip side to side here. Again, one more each way. Hold it up top, walk those hands down. Hold it here, just shift into those feet, into each hip, stretch it out, hips hang right in the center, relax that neck and shoulder. Walk those hands back up, step it in, round the back, that back stretch. Let your weight hang right off that fold. Really round, tuck everything under, maybe a little peekaboo under each arm. And then roll it back up top. Big shoulder rolls 
here. And forward. Last one. Stand to the side, palms on the back, feet close to the base, drop it out, that big side stretch. Bend that inside leg to deepen that stretch. Feels good. Pull it in. Let's face the pole. Stay on that right foot, take that left leg nice and long behind. Knee over that ankle, tuck that hip under, feel that stretch in that left hip. Squeeze the inner thighs here. And then stepping in, grab that ankle. Pulling the heel towards your butt and squeeze the knees together. So you're stretching that left quad. And then release. Let's walk to the other side. Side stretch here, feet close. Drop it out. Your palms are on the back of the pole. Open that chest, shoulder. And then let's pull it in, facing that pole. And stay on the left foot. Take the right leg long behind you. Knee over that ankle, tuck the back hips. You feel the stretch on that right hip. You're squeezing the inner thighs. Oh, that feels so good. And then step it in. Grab that right ankle. Squeeze the legs together. Push the hips forward. Stretch in that quad. And then release. Shake those out. Turn around so your backside's on the pole. Both hands up top, thumbs down. Lean in that chest forward. Pushing through the sternum. Pull those shoulders back and down. You can push gentle through each shoulder. Wherever you feel like you need that stretch. And then bring it back in. Let's re-grip low. Let your body lean away. Roll those shoulders back and down. We'll pull the shoulders down. Let those hips fall away. A little swivel. And then stay right there. Pull the shoulders down a little more. Take your head to the side. Side, feel that stretch down the neck and shoulders. And then bringing your chin to the center, just push it forward, lengthen, and then pull it back in. All right, back to the front here. Rest on that pole. Big inhale. You work so hard. Exhale. Again, up and exhale down. Good job. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one.